Okay, so I really need to get down to it and start packing my hospital bag, but specifically my hospital toiletry bag is the one I'm going to be starting with. That's the one I'm gonna be packing with you today. For those of you who are new here or just the ones keeping score, I am currently 36 weeks pregnant. Bum check, ooh, there she is in all its glory. Stretch marks and everything. This is real life, this is my bump. And my first daughter came at 38 weeks, 40 weeks is technically full term and that's when the due date is but I want to like plan on 38 weeks even if you know this baby takes longer because every baby is different she could be right at 40 weeks or she could be late at 42 weeks I don't know but I want to shoot and aim to have everything done and packed you know by 38 weeks um, but hopefully this week at 36 weeks I can at least have all my hospital bag stuff done most of the stuff we're finally getting all finished around the house which is super exciting but for this video I got my little toiletry bag that I'm really excited for that's gonna fit skincare it's gonna fit my hair care products and I'm even gonna take a little bit of makeup now I didn't do makeup with my first daughter at all. I could not be bothered, but I, I just like to have the option. So I'm gonna show you what my like go-to products will be for like a quick hospital hospital look. That sounds weird, but like a light makeup look that I don't need a lot of brushes. I could just use my hands, do like within five or 10 minutes if I have the motivation. And I also got a bunch of like fun squeezy tubes from Amazon that I'm gonna fill up. And I'm excited, I'm excited to pack this. Hopefully you guys are excited to pack along with me or see what I pack or whatever. That's what we're gonna be doing in this video. By the way, if you are new to my channel, new to my face, and new to my baby pump, my name is Ashley Ellix, and I post beauty and lifestyle content here on the tube, and I would love it so much if you would subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. But also, I don't know how often I'll be able to post on YouTube once baby is here. I might have to take a little bit of time off, so make sure you're following me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all of that where I can do some quicker content, give you guys updates, let you guys know when she has arrived. All of that, I'm at Ashley Ellix at, but, Enough the pre chit chat. If you're ready to backpack this toiletry bag with me and check that off the list with me, then you're in the right place. And all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching, boo. Pew. P.S. If it's a little echoey in here, it's just because we're filming in my bathroom today, obviously, because that's where all my toiletry stuff is at. All right. Whatever. So anyways, like I said, I picked up this little bag of silicone bottles through Amazon and it just came in this little plastic bag. There are these cute little squeezy tube bottles and they're, they're just fun, bright colors. And you know what? It's the little things when you just give birth that help you like be like, oh, that's cute. And I like the texture. And then what I'm using for my actual toiletry bag is this little guy that I got at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, honestly, quite a few years ago. If I can find one similar, I'll link it down below. But it just has these little compartments that I love and she has stuck with me for, like I said, years now. Obviously not traveling this last year, but before that, she was used quite a bit and still holding strong. So I could put all my shower stuff, skincare on this side. I can put a couple makeup items down here if I need anything else there. And there's even a little zipper on the back. So I love it because you can also hang it and it closes up and it's really flat. So this is a great option. And if I can find anything, like I said, I'll link it down below, but check your local Marshalls, TJ Maxx and stuff because they always have these just in different prints. Let's start with shower essentials. So I know not everybody loves to take a shower at the hospital and it's not something that I loved to do but it was something that I needed to do I felt so much better once they said okay you're allowed to take a shower whenever you want oh my goodness I just felt like a whole new human kind of I mean there's still a lot going on there, but it just felt so nice to clean and wash. So for my body wash that I decided I'm gonna be taking, I'm taking the Native body wash and I have the fragrant sugar cookie from the holidays and it smells so good. Oh, but if you can't get this anymore, I love the coconut vanilla too. So I'm gonna fill up one of these with that. And look at how cool the little silicone travel jar set came with a little funnel to make it easier to pour things in. I'm actually gonna use the pink squeezy cause I just remembered that I need I bought some of these for my husband to fill up for his toiletry bag. Last time, he did not pack a bag at all. Um, and I kept telling him, you probably should. I don't remember if he took a shower. Anyways, so I'm gonna use this cute little funnel. Actually, I don't think I need the funnel. That's a little extra. Let me just pour some of this in. I don't need to fill it up. I'm just gonna be taking one shower. So these tubes are pretty big. They're full three ounce, but I don't need to fill her up, you know, just enough, just like that. 
Boop, so cute. <laughs> and I'll put one, I'll put the blue one aside for my husband. I know, so cliche, but that just helps us keep everything organized. Pop that in my bag. I should probably, can I write on these? Body wash in a few weeks, I might forget what is what so yeah just that, that's nice I like that now if I had any like words of wisdom to anybody else who might be packing their hospital toiletry bag as well if there are little things that can bring you some comfort do that just like a nice body wash that you love the scent of that just makes you just feel a little bit like yourself do that if you can because it's those little things it's those little things just like these cute silicone squeezy bottles my cat keeps jumping up here hi tiggly i also picked up a loofah so that will go right next to the body wash take off the little tag so for shampoo and conditioner i'm going to use these little guys right here and for what i'm going to be putting inside of them i'm going to do the paul mitchell forever blonde shampoo and conditioner i really like this for keeping my blonde more light and bright. And again, it's not like I need a lot. It feels kind of like silly having these giant things, but whatever. I didn't wanna buy like individual, individual ones of the shampoos and conditioners I like, cause that seems silly too. It was it's just one time, but whatever. There we go, shampoo and conditioner. Now don't feel like you have to bring shampoo and conditioner. I forgot to mention that every hospital is different in what they will supply. Some actually provide you with like a toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. But if there's particular ones that you like, I, I seem to, I never like the generic shampoos and conditioners. So that's why I'm packing it for myself and the body wash and everything. I just wanna have the stuff that I like, like I mentioned, things that make you feel more like you. Also, if you don't feel like you're gonna wanna wash your hair, I mean, I would, I would either bring stuff just in case or just use the ones that they have, but I know not everybody wants to wash their hair after and while they're in their hospital and they don't love it. I personally washed my hair after I gave birth to my first daughter because I get so sweaty. Listen, labor is no joke. It's a sweaty activity. It's a lot. So I wanted to get that clean feeling. Now my hair does not take a very long time to dry, so I can totally air dry it. I know a lot of people that have thicker hair and it takes a long time for them to dry. It's just worth the hassle for them so you do you boo you know yourself best i personally will want to wash my hair i'm just not, i'm not gonna style it or anything i'm not gonna bring any style I, i'll bring one styling product like an oil or something but just shampoo conditioner air dry you know yeah styling product i'm gonna take i'm gonna grab this little moroccan oil oil treatment you know just classic oil how many times can i say oil in one sentence so I already have this travel size. I'm just gonna pop that into my shower side. And along with my shower side, I'm gonna take this Pacifica Lavender Moon Body Lotion. It has a lavender, rose, and chamomile fragrance. It's supposed to be really relaxing. It does have a really nice fragrance to it. I don't love strong lavender smells. This one's a little bit lighter and it's very hydrating. And I can use this on my hands, on my body, whatever. And this will just be a nice experience as well. While I'm on this side of my back, I'm gonna put in my toothpaste, toothbrush, and my deodorant. I'm still loving the Schmitz deodorant. I picked up a new one just so I could have it in my bag so I don't have to go try to remember <laughs> once labor begins to grab a bunch of things. So I love the bergamot and lime. I'm just gonna pop that in there. I also just ordered from Pacifica the deodorant wipes because I love those for like just freshening up really quickly and applying a little bit more deodorant. So I have those coming. I love those in the papaya scent. What was it? Something like that. And then also I have coming some makeup wipes. Now I don't use makeup wipes very often. Usually I just use them if I'm doing a million swatches or something like that or changing eye looks for you guys for a video. But I am all out and I haven't repurchased in forever. So I bought some makeup wipes just in case I need to remove my makeup really quickly if I'm wearing some. You know, during labor, I do not want to wear any makeup and who knows, I might have a full face on when I go in. I don't know, but like I said, I'm very sweaty and it's kind of like working out with makeup on. It's just not a comfortable feeling. Some people are into it and that's fine if that's you, but I can't do it. I'll want to rip my face off. So I have those coming. Got the toothpaste, toothbrush, okay, what else? Face stuff, let's do my skincare. I already have a couple travel size items that I've been hoarding of the skincare brand that I use because I use Jan Marini. I have the bioglycolic face cleanser in this little travel guy, which is perfect. So I'm gonna put that right next to my body wash. And then also for skincare, I'm not gonna take my whole regimen 
I just, I know I won't be able to stand there and do it in front of the sink. So I'm just gonna bring the couple products that I know I'll need to use, and that's the Siesta Face Serum. It's like a brightening serum. I still wanna keep on my system. I'm gonna be cleansing my face at least twice that I can think of. And then the BioClear Face Lotion. I'm just gonna bring a tube of this because I have some extra ones. I mean, I could put it in a little jar. Maybe I'll put some in a little jar. Let me do that. I'll put some in a little jar, actually. I take it back. I don't wanna go opening like a bunch of new things and letting them start to expire, you know, so. I love that this silicone set came with some jars, you know, let's just drip it in there. Ooh. And it even has this little like seal. What a nice set. That was a good price too. I saw at Walmart, Walmart had a set of just four silicones and like one jar for $8. This came with like double the amount which was great. And then I'm just gonna throw this little eye gel in there. It's from Good Molecules. It's a, you, oh, I'm having such a hard time talking. It's the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. It's not the one that I use on the daily or anything, but it's a nice like cooling one. And again, we go through a lot. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. And then I'm gonna do a jar of my face moisturizer. It's the Transformative Face Cream from Jan Marini. And not only did it have a little funnel in the set, it had the little spatulas to scoop and scoop and ploop. So just one scoop of that should be enough. Although the hospital is pretty dry. Let me go in for a second scoop because man, hospital air is so dry. Okay, face cream. And I'm gonna throw my sunscreen in there as well for when we leave the hospital. And you know what? I'm gonna grab the hand cream I have from Ahava, the mineral hand cream, cause it's super good. And I know I'm grabbing that other body lotion and that works nice, but I just, I'm remembering how so, so dry the hospital is. So I'll throw this in there as well. <laughs> and this toiletry bag is getting full. I will probably won't use half of this stuff, but I just like having the options, you know? You know, I'm just, I'm just that kind of packer. So that's it for body, shower, teeth, face. Let's do a little bit of makeup. So let me go grab a few things, show you guys what I would pack for my makeup side. That's fast, quick, and easy. Okay, that was fun. I just kind of shopped my stash a little bit. So I have this little basket. Wow, I couldn't remember the word basket. And I'll show you what I'm gonna pick. And while I was doing it, I was like, wow, I totally forgot I'm gonna be having to wear a mask, you know, during the whole time. So it's good that I'm doing a light situation. This looks like a lot though. But it's not, it's super fast products. So for like foundation, I'm really just going with this more tinted moisturizer. It's the Milani Glow Tinted Moisturizer, Hydrating Skin Tint. And I like that because I can just put it on with my fingertips, no primer, anything. I can just throw that really quickly on. Same thing with the Tarte Hydro C Concealer. I can just pat that underneath the eyes really quickly just to give me a more fresh look you know, feel a little bit more put together for myself. And then for powder, I'm loving this number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder that I tried last week on my drugstore, like nobody talks about products. And I really like this one. So I'm gonna do that because I can just dust it on so, so fast. I can put on a little bit of bronzer. This is the Cover Effects Monochromatic in Sunkissed Matte that I love, or no, Sunkissed Bronze that I love and that's super easy to blend out. And then I love this blush from e.l.f., the little bite size duos. And this one is in the shade White Peach, which is my go-to. So these are just like quick go-to products that I know I can throw on like within five or 10 minutes. And just, like I said, feel a little bit more refreshed. And then I'm gonna take, <laughs> maybe I should put this in a jar. Do I have any more small jars? I don't think I do. But I'm gonna find one because I'm kind of nervous about taking this big glass bottle. It's the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer. I really do enjoy this product, even though it's a little bit pricier. You might have seen my review on it, but I like that I can layer it up either on top or underneath products, whatever, and it's versatile. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I don't wanna like fling this across the room on accident because I'm just like all over the place. So I need to get a little jar for this. That makes me nervous. Oh yeah, and I have this little Tarte Stay Spray. Not that I'm worried about making my makeup last, but especially with wearing a mask, I will need to do something a little stronger, but this also feels really nice. My One of my favorite setting sprays and I happen to have a travel of it. And then just a few eye products. Really, it's not that much. I'm gonna take my Auric 
what are, the, what are these called again? Smoke Reflect. Smoke Reflect and Temper because I can truly do an eye look within seconds. I just love how it works. I really don't like the price point of it, but I have been loving it for those quick eye looks that look like you spent a lot of time and you didn't. And then I just grabbed the Essence 24 Ever, 24 Ever ink liner. This is just like a little quick liquid liner. And then my Marc Jacobs highlighter to throw onto the upper waterline. Both are waterproof, which I need because emotions run high. And then I just grabbed this LA Girl Ultimate Matte Intense Stay Auto Liner. It's a little nude liner for the, you know, the lower lash line, the water line, lower water line. For mascara, I grabbed my CoverGirl Exhibitionist, my favorite, but I picked it up in waterproof. I've never tried the waterproof before. I know a lot of people do like the waterproof version too. It's my favorite mascara, so I'm hopeful. And like I said, emotions sometimes run high and you're just emotional. So I need some waterproofing situations if I'm gonna wear any eye makeup. And then for brows, I'm gonna throw this in there. If I remember to take my daily brow products, I will, but I know I won't. So let me put these in here just in case. The CoverGirl Soft Brown, um, what is this? Micro, it's, it's, a, it's a pencil, but it's like a twist up, you know? And then the Urban Decay Brow Blade. These aren't what I use daily. I use a pomade and stuff, but then pomade's a brush and that's more finicky and everything. So I just, I'll just do that. And I probably won't remember to like, you know, put my other brow stuff in there. It's gonna be the last of my concerns if my water breaks first like it did with my first daughter or if I'm mid, mid contractions, I'm not gonna remember brow products either. I'm just not gonna care because that's what happens. And then for lips, like I mentioned, I was sitting there thinking like, oh, what do I wanna do lips? Because I wanna give like lots of kisses and I don't wanna like worry about that. But then I was like, oh, I'm gonna be wearing a mask. So let me just do this route. I grabbed a lip liner. This is from Milani. It's a color statement matte in nude. And then the Milk Lip Balm has a little tint to it. This one is in the shade Bubble. So I just throw that on for some moisturizing lips, but then get a little definition with the lip liner. So that's it for the makeup. That Again, that seems like a lot, but these are all products that are tried and true. And I know I can do a really quick face with in and out the door, but you know, also not in and out the door. I'll be sitting there. That's that. What else do I need in my toiletry bag? I have like a little sanitizer, even though I know they're gonna have sanitizers in the room and stuff. This is this way I can just have it by my bedside and sanitize when I feel necessary. So let me throw that in there. My husband needs to pack his toiletry bag, but that's his own thing. We all need to talk about that. He can do his own thing. Is there anything else? that I'm missing. I need to look at my list. I have a list real quick, hang on. See, I'm glad that I made this list because I did forget a couple things. I just made a quick little hospital bag checklist on my iPad, on pages, and I saw lip balm, regular lip balm, hello. So let me pop that in there and I need to do another little like, I think I'm gonna do like another little baggie. Maybe put the hand cream and another lip balm in it just for like actual labor, because I'm obviously not gonna be using this toiletry bag during labor, but it's so dry in there that I want easy access and I don't want to have to have my husband dig through everything. <laughs> Look at how out of breath I am. Hang on. I'm also gonna grab these hair ties, bobby pins. So I'll do like a little, a little clutch, a little thing that I can have with me with my lip balm, hair ties, hand cream, whatever else I can think of, but these are all going in the toiletry bag. Oh, and a hairbrush, okay. My hairbrush, I'm gonna have to try to remember to grab that because I don't have an extra one. <gasps> Maybe I'll buy one before then. I don't know, I'm still waiting for a couple things. Like I said, the deodorant wipes and the makeup removing wipes. Okay, so that is it for my hospital toiletry bag. I feel, woo, I feel so, it feels so good checking some stuff off the list, you know? Next up, I gotta pack my actual hospital bag with the clothes and everything. We, I, I'm ready to do that. We just got the coming home outfits from a little newborn. We got a newborn size and a zero to three months just in case. I have my like virtual tour with my hospital on Thursday, it's through Zoom. So I can find out what do they provide because I really wanna know, you know are they providing me with like tux and dermoplast and the beautiful netted underwear? Like what is that stuff? What should I bring for baby? Do they provide diapers? Do they provide like, you know, onesies for there? What's the deal? Because I'm giving birth at a different hospital than I did with my first daughter and I know every hospital is different. So 
I'll hopefully have a little bit more information before I pack my full on hospital bag. But if you would like to see a video of what's in my hospital bag, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be happy to share that with you if I'm able to. And yeah, that's it for the toiletry bag though. Feels so good to check stuff off the list. Oh my goodness. Thanks for checking it off with me. Make sure you subscribe before you go. If you aren't following me over on my other social media channels, such as Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all of that, make sure you are so you don't miss out on things and stuff. But I gotta go. I'm getting really silly. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.